Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE. We are continuing our coverage of Boomi World 2018. I'm Lisa Martin in Las Vegas with John Furrier and we're welcoming to theCUBE Pragnia Paramita, the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Dell Boomi. Pragnia, welcome. Hi, Good. nice to meet you guys. So second annual Dell Boomi World. Yeah. Uh, we had Mandy Dollywall, your CMO on shortly ago, who said, doubled from last year. Some of the really cool stats that caught my ears and eyes this morning during the general session are, 7,500 plus customers globally that Dell Boomi has now. You're adding five new customers every day. There are about close to 70 different customers speaking at this event. Right. The customers are coming together to share how Dell Boomi is helping them on this nebulous, daunting transformation journey. Talk to us about some of the news coming out in the last couple of days, and as a product marketing manager, what are some of the things that excite you? I think uh, of the last few weeks, what we've been able to put out in the market with the, our partnership with the blockchain consortium has been really exciting. Like to be working for a company that's always at the cut, cutting edge and looking to do things at the cutting edge is as a just as an employee, that's like a really cool thing to be a part of. Uh, but what I'm really excited about is tomorrow's keynote. And I know we've probably been teasing everybody uh, through the day about tomorrow's keynote, but I, I'm really excited excited to unveil what we are going to be showing you guys tomorrow. So one of the things that's exciting about you guys is that the product market fit is clear with customer traction. Right. So as you guys look at, say, blockchain, smart contracts, it's about business. So you're messaging around connecting businesses with developer integration as a starting point with low code. It's a productivity question, it's a foundational question. As you have this platform, what's some of the product positionings that you guys are looking to expand on. Obviously we heard Michael Dell today say, you know, data tsunami, AI, scaling AI, right. these are questions that yeah. people want to have answered. Is that how you guys see the positioning in your, in your go to market? So, um, as far as positioning, I think the true value that we do provide our customers is fast time to market. So I think speed and the ability to do things efficiently and being the first to market is what our customers really value and we want to be able to power that. So that's core to our positioning in the market. Uh, the other one is flexibility. I think with each, uh, each vendor and like consolidation happening around in the market, people are like marking their turfs and territory and in this day and yeah. event at Boomi we really want to be an open ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, you bring your data, you bring your application, you bring your cloud, uh, you could have a hybrid environment uh, as you operate your business. Boomi will connect to everything and I think that is a core part of our messaging that we want to make sure customers understand, we want to make sure that the market understands that we'll be true to this. As you got yeah. the cool technology with the cloud native, you guys are born in the cloud and still operate at cloud scale, as you sit in the product marketing meetings and think about the customers, you're solving a lot of problems, there's a lot of check boxes on the solving customer problems, right. but you also want to position for the future. So I got to ask you, when you look at your customer base holistically, what's the core problem that you guys solve for your customer? I think unlocking the value of our, the data, customer data. So it resides in um, siloed application, it resides in parts of business that some, so if you're a North American business, uh, your ability to interact with your Australian counterparts is not only restricted by time zones, but it's also restricted by laws and data protection and all of those things which governments are waking up to. And to be able to do that securely, to be able to do that at a scale is something that we want to be able to deliver to our customers, and I think uh, our ability to be a cloud-native platform allows us that flexibility to do it in a way that customers feel comfortable, and again, uh, are able to get some value out of back from their data. So about six months ago, the Gartner Magic Quadrant for iPads came out, and once again, I think, John, we've heard today that for the fifth year in a row, right. Dell Boomi is a, is a strong leader. I'm curious, six months later, now, today you guys said, we are reimagining the eye in iPads. Right. From a market that's well established, highly competitive, it, that now customers, it's not just about integrating applications, it's integrating data from new sources, from existing sources, to be able to identify new revenue streams, new products, new services. 
What is it about this reimagining the eye to be intelligence right. that in your opinion is going to further uh, really kind of elevate Del Bumi's competitive differentiation? So the true differentiation is that in the market we are the we were the first who were a native cloud application. So the value of that single instance, multi-tenant uh, cloud application is what would what we are really leveraging as part of our intelligence in the platform. Um, so many of our competitors and other vendors in the market do have probably caught on to this whole cloud thing in the last couple of years, but at the end of the day, we have 10 years of a lead with with them, that would be hard for them to match. And again, it is value from what customers have been doing on our platform, so our ability to look at that enormous amount of data anonymously and then provide value back to them has been really critical to our success and how our customers have found value. And I guess the, with the ability for us to leverage AI and machine learning capabilities within the platform, we want to be able to make it much more easier for our customers. So in terms of business initiatives, some of the key ones that Delbumi targets are you know, e-commerce, order to cash, customer 360, as well as onboarding. Yes. Talk to us, I, I really liked that Chris McNabb in the general session this morning kind of opened the kimono and said, hey, we found through the voice of our own employees, we weren't so great in this particular area. Talk to us about the Delbumi employee onboarding solution and how it was really born based on your own internal needs for yeah. improvement. So I was, uh, I joined uh, a year ago, I was employee number 300 something, and this year we are at employee number, I guess 700 plus, maybe going on to 800 at the last we heard. So you can imagine the scale that the company is growing at. And for us, and I guess what Chris articulated it this morning, Employee onboarding was becoming a choke point, not only in making sure employees are productive faster, but are also enjoying this new company that they've decided to you know, become a part of. And uh, we at Boomi, as boomers ourselves, uh, do really value our culture a lot, but that didn't quite reflect in the employee onboarding experience that we were providing. And I think uh, that was a big stimulus. Uh, Chris shared the numbers of our NPS course that he saw for him to say that hey, we all we are running at a really fast pace, but this is a critical issue. Pretty uh, big negative number <laughs> yes. a year ago or six yeah. months ago on that NPS. And uh, so as a CEO, he decided this is a priority, but then as, as, as we went through this exercise, what we were able to find out that it's it's not only a challenge that we are facing, but our com uh, customers, both large and small, continue facing that issue. So what the approach that we took was, while we were solving our own employee onboarding challenge, we were able to productize that entire solution and create an accelerator. And what that accelerator, the value of the accelerator is, it's a common problem. We know it is a problem that happens at scale, and at a certain scale, it becomes really detrimental to your business. And but then your business is really unique, so we cannot give you a one-size-fit-all solution that you can go and like turn on on day one and it'll work. We it needs uh, you. What we are giving you here is a framework. Uh, we leveraged it. We had great results. We are more than happy to share that back. That something that took like 92 days for an employee to get access to 27 applications now takes minutes, like literally five minutes. Uh, what took about 19 admins uh, across the organization who were doing this as a second job almost because we are a small company, the guy who bought the license for this new software that he wanted his team to use became the admin for that product, and now his team is like more than, from seven people, it's now 52 people. But he's still the admin for that product, <laughs> along with managing that solution. So all of that effort was consolidated from 19 people to like two people, so that's real gain there in the just employee productivity that we have been able to standardize. And what we are doing now is taking the solution and the accelerator package to our customers and we are having some great conversation with many of our customers who had initially looked at Boomi and said like, hey, you guys provide us in an integration solution to our problem, but at the end of the day, onboarding as within an organization is a cross-functional issue. Right. It 
ties together workflows from your finance team, from your benefits team, from your recruiting team who is getting the candidate to your HR who is going to Facilities make sure. Facilities where you sit, all it's kinds all of data. All kinds of things and like making sure you have your laptop and your badges and all of those things on day one. So a lot of people in the organizations are like these silent heroes who are making sure that every employee who shows up on day one has a good experience, yeah. but there are only so, there's only so far that a manual process in, can go. And automate, being able to automate that pro process and uh, a core reason why we were we are now able to do this is because of Boomi Flow. Uh, the many who acquisition that we did last year, uh, it has opened uh, doors for us to have conversations with our customers where we are like, you have cross-functional processes you need to be able to automate them as much as possible and let your employees actually do more value added work instead of being, you know, uh, sending emails and then collating emails with data from every place, putting it in a spreadsheet, adding that to your SAP or your workday system. And so that sounds like that's work. the consequence of two problems, I hear this right. One, data silos right. and manual or purpose built applications that are right. dependent upon data silos. No data silos allows for automation. Right. And then everything kind of goes away, kind of solve the problem, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so cross-functional workflows are uh, something that when people try to solve, a they end up causing the integration problem at the end of the day. <laughs> so you try to solve for one thing, but then integration is always at the yeah. core of it. With Boomi, because we are coming integration up, we sort of automatically solve for that, but then with Boomi Flow, what we are able to do is we are able to abstract that away from users who don't really care about how you're going to get two applications to work together. So if you're in the HR team, you just want to make sure that yeah. here is the value proposition for the organization that I hired these employees for, they get to see that. I don't really care if your 15 applications need to work together at the back end. And we heard the Nobody American examples. You. Nor should you. American Airlines example is a good one. They have hundreds of integrations. Right. Some will ship it and forget it. And, right. And you don't want to have to remember, hey, what are we, number 52, what was that again? And exactly. I solved the problem, but broke this over there. Yeah. You know, that's kind of the problem that is the core issue, right? Yeah, it's a core issue, and um, so we have a session later today with American Airlines and um, uh, Mod Pizza. So both of them are a study in contrast. Mod Pizza is an organization that um, was founded a couple of years ago, around the same time that American Airlines and US Airways mergers was happening. So the session is very interesting because you get a perspective from a company that started in 2011 or, or 2013, and took an approach of being a cloud native uh, infrastructure. So they made choices where all of their applications are in the cloud, but then when they grew at a certain scale, employee onboarding became an issue. They came to Boomi and how they're solving it. And on the flip side of it, you have a perspective from a large organization that around the same time re-looked at their employee onboarding issues and then again looked at Boomi and said that, hey, how can we solve this? And as they said in the keynote, um, good is not good enough. You need to have a great yeah. experience. Well, you've also raised your NPS score 168 points. Right. And now you've got an opportunity to reach customers in a different way, like you said, to be able to integrate these, these functions that have to work together and should need, should, that abstraction layer is critical for the business being not just more efficient, more productive, but finding new revenue streams faster, being more competitive, and really unlocking the value of that data so it can be used across multiple business units within an organization at the same right. time. Yeah. Pragna, thanks so much for stopping by and yeah. joining John and me on theCUBE today. Yeah, it was great talking to you guys. We thanks. appreciate it. And have Hope a you have great a good boomy world. Thank you. Absolutely, yeah. off to a great start. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Bye-bye. For John Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Boomi World 18 in Vegas. Stick around, John and I will be back with our next guest.